The soldiers of Inkerman Company, the 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards, got back to Aldershot last night following their six-month tour in Afghanistan. There were emotional scenes as family and friends greeted their loved ones. Our reporter, Claire Sadler, was there. It's been a long summer of separation. The feeling of relief for family and friends here was palpable. It was a moment especially poignant for one father whose son was injured. Each gun to the IDs, uh, they had to go into a ditch because it was um, under about a foot of water. They, the uh, shot on the ID and the explosion was contained and it blew him over the, the ditch and he had um, skin tissue damage. So he was, he, he was quite lucky to get away with it. 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards spent their tour in Nari Siraj, one of the most hostile operating environments in Afghanistan. How does it feel to be back home and have this kind of reception? Uh, awesome. <laughs> That's good. What's it like for you, Dad, to, to oh, finally have it? Overwhelming, oh. overwhelming. I'm, I'm, back, I'm holding it back, so I think... And it, that's brilliant, absolutely brilliant, fantastic. But the feelings of elation weren't limited to the Y brows. Absolutely fantastic. You can't describe what it feels like. <laughs> Words can't say it. It's just such a relief. <laughs> what do you plan next? Um, just a bit of chilling out, hopefully. But I expect that these are going to work me harder than the uh, Taliban did, so. <laughs> Throughout Herrick 16, the Grenadier Guards have been working alongside the Afghan National Security Forces. 40 Commando Royal Marines have now taken over. It's been a, uh, a busy and uh, challenging six and a half months uh, where the men have uh, done a fantastic job. I couldn't be more proud of them. Uh, they've uh, risen to every challenge that was thrown at them um, and acquitted themselves incredibly well. Whilst everyone here was celebrating their return and looking forward to some well-earned time with family, thoughts were with the loved ones of those who didn't make it home. Lance Corporal Dwayne Groom, Guardsman Carl Whittle, Guardsman Jamie Shadrake, Lance Corporal James Ashworth and Guardsman Michael Rowland, all of 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards, were killed while on tour. Nari Siraj North, uh, like some other parts of Afghanistan, are particularly hostile places and the battalion has been uh, unlucky enough sadly to lose five of our soldiers thus far uh, and with two of our companies still with six weeks of the, their operational tour still to go uh, we, we hold our, our fingers and, and hope that they will return safely as well. For now these soldiers will enjoy a long weekend but they're back to work next week to help provide training support for the brigade that deploys next March. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Aldershot.